Alrighty, hey guys, it is the Bling Blau God with Blessed YGO. Yes, sir. And we are here watching promo back in the day, pro guy back with Virtual World and Victor Mercado with Prank Kids, pure Prank Kids, not the uh, Adam Emancipator version. Uh, it's definitely cool to see Prank Kids do well with the new Link 1 that came out last set and Phantom Rage. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Uh, it looks like Vic lost the die roll. Uh, Mo is going to open up. It looks like I don't see a single spell in his hand. Uh, Ooh, no so city. Probably going to normal summon a monster and start that way. Yep, normal summon GG. And uh, Lulu target. So Maurice is also on the one uh, the one Ash. Zhao Zhao and the one um, Tutu. Yeah, so now he's going to Lao. He was going to Lulu, but now he has to Lao Lao. And see, this is where I was talking about where Nibiru is actually very impactful against the deck. You see how he has to Lao Lao, Lao, Lao first. And, like, Lao, yeah. Lao Lao is the card that they want to save for Cloudcast. Oh, he Skull Mines with the Chinglong. Oh, wow. That's strong. <laughs> That's strong. And <laughs> this is the scary thing about Prank Kids. One Prank Kids monster equals their whole board. Yep, and you got <laughs> you literally have to have an Ash for the first guy. Yeah, otherwise you're, you're done. Yep. And it Mo looks like he's maining. Yeah, he's maining Ash. Uh, he's maining two Ash, two Droll, two Nibiru. Nibiru's okay. game stopper versus yeah. Prank Kids. Uh, good good variance. Yeah, and then three Gamma. He actually play Ooh, Mo's playing some Spice. He's playing Overdrive Teleporter. Oh, this is the Nikolai deck. Yeah, um, this is playing. I actually want to see him like pop off. I wish he didn't get double hand trapped. Game one, kind of yeah. want to see him pop off. He's playing, he's maining call by as well. Uh, most people are now, but he's only playing two pod desires. He's not playing the new card either. He can't, you can't really play that in virtual world because like you need everything. Yeah, and you don't want to really play the card just to banish three. Like that's not. Yeah, that's not exactly. Right. Someone said, "Yo, this prank kids player isn't joking around. <laughs> hey, he's not trying to get comboed." Yeah, and the prank kids player is. Playing two Crow, two Ash, two Meister, two Nibiru, and three Impermanence. Um, Impermanence definitely fell off as of late. Is that Shinshin? Uh, that is Shinshin, yep. Okay. So it looks like he's going to have to uh, Imperm the Shinshin. Um, otherwise, the Prank Kids card. I, I think they have to go to Graveyard, if yeah, I'm they not do. mistaken. Yeah, yeah they so. Uh, oh, he opened Shinshin. Book. He opened Book of Moon. Oh, yeah, he oh, does my play Lord. Book of Moon. Yeah, that, oh, I was going to say that. <laughs> Book of Moon's another hour. Book of Moon Roxies. Oh, my God. That hand is crazy. He opened Book of Moon Roxies, Ash, Skullmeister. That hand was actually just insane. Yeah. <laughs> And that's, like, not even his other two cards. Oh, man, here we go. Yep, he's going to send the Pandemonium. Yeah, this isn't looking good for Maurice. He really needs an Nibiru in hand because he didn't stop the Roxies with the Ash. So, like, he really needs an Nibiru. The only way Prank Kids plays through Ash Blossoms is if they have a Fusion spell and two more guys. Yeah, exactly. Uh, just so you guys know, chat, you guys were asking for a Cyber Dragon player. Um, somebody came up to me outside. The, he rode uh, with his friend. Both his friends are at Table 9 playing against each other right now. One of them's playing Cyber Dragons. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And another one's playing uh, Inv Dogmatic Invoked. Uh, another deck brought up by the chat, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So he's maybe playing, we can get that. He was, he's playing X the Cyber Dragon player is X01 right now. So I'm like, oh, that's, like, nice. Like, yeah. So we'll probably get, we could get that if he wins next round. So, like, uh, like uh, Tobias, people would definitely think Imperm is bad this format. So, I, I was actually talking about this with uh, a lot of the people I was testing with. So, like, Imperm, it's, you say it's, like, the worst situation against Virtual World, right? Let's say it's, like, you go. A VFD uh, trap. Yes, yeah, so like, let's say you play an Eldritch, though, right? So, like, I personally think Imperm's kind of good in that situation. So, like, you go Imperm on the VFD, and then they go Choo Choo Pop. Like, their VFD results, like, you got rid of their VFD with, with their Choo Choo, essentially. So, in, essentially, your Imperm was. Uh, a destructive card, so like it essentially popped their uh, VFD, and you weren't using like light effects on your turn anyway. Regardless, yeah. you were literally going like normal summon zoo stack zoo, like yeah. set some cards and pass. You know what I'm saying? So, w like that w in that situation, your imperm got rid of a VFD, uh, and like it allowed you to still play your, your cards for that turn. Exactly. And in other situations, it'll stop a herald of ultimate is mm -hmm. uh, in certain situations if they don't if they like own purple. Yeah, 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 exactly. If, or if they like the only fear they have is like for the first in the game, so they get the Eva effect off. So like they go herald of ultimate effect, pitch the Eva, and like they don't have any more fears, and then you could chain the imperm. Correct. And like Eva hasn't resolved yet, so you know so they don't. <laughs> you know they don't got purple. Yeah, exactly. Unless they hard you know it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but Imperm, Imperm's definitely good in the slower decks. But, like, if yep. VFD impacts your hand is to where Correct. you can't activate monster effects, it's not good at all. Exactly. Like, nothing. Exactly. So yeah, that's, that's specifically why I said Eldritch, yeah. 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 So Vic is still going off, adding back. Um, uh, I, I think I'm pretty sure he, he should just be, like, blowing his board up. Because can he just tag out all his guys this turn? Or did he already use, like, Cockle Doo Doo? 
Uh, I, I was looking at chat for a second. Yeah, oh, I think so. it's I think it's Maurice's turn again. He couldn't get over Shin Shin, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, and this is really good for Maurice being able to flip the the uh, Shin Shin. So, not, so like Shin Shin is basically macro for Victor. It's it's gonna turn all his cards off, uh, and like he has to respond with like a book here. Yes. See, look, I called <laughs> it. I called it. <laughs> yep. He books it on the Lulu effect, and he's already flipped the Shin Shin. So like this turn, Shin Shin's just stuck there. He can't flip it again. Uh, and and he doesn't have to worry about the the macro. Yeah. Uh, someone said I stepped out. Did you ever say if Akeem was still on your three v three team? <laughs> uh, both in in real life three v threes I played. Akeem has been on my team. Um, my spot's always still open for Akeem if he ever wants to play. You know that's just my boy. If he ever hits me, I'm like yo, I need a spot. I'm gonna run with him. Um, but he he's like he always retires and he pulls the Michael State a lot. He like retires and he comes back <laughs> out the blue and he's like, hey, I want to be on the team. And I'm like, I want to play. And I'm like, oh, bro, you've been gone for like five months, but I right, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you know how to play your cards, so like I'll just speed you back up through the format. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? So like, that's that's pretty much like where we at with uh with the game. Car guy said, hey, State, they miss you. I miss you, too. <laughs> you already know. I bleed red. I still got my t uh, official made tank top. Bro, y'all gear was fire. I loved it, Y'all gear was I fire. I loved it. <laughs> like, gang, I ain't going to lie. I, I used to watch y'all all the time. When, like that was Y'all was good before I was good. Like, I you. recently only got good within, like, the last few few years. Like, a lot of y'all been good for, like, 10 years plus. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm, like, one of the newer age better players you know what i'm saying you guys are all like the old goats you know what i mean that's why i like try to stay so humble because like, I, yeah, I literally used to watch y'all decks when i was growing up and mm -hmm. copy all y'all like you yeah. come on like it's crazy like i hang out with come on like i literally used to look up to this nigga when i was a kid yeah no, like, i swear i used to look up to come on all the time bro. come on like, i i literally went to locals uh it's, it, it's called brad's this place we would go I've known Kamal since 2009, 2010, Jesus, and crazy. we were jits, bro. We were just <laughs> playing casual decks at locals, whatever, and out of, out of nowhere, we got taught, and that locals taught us how to just be better and learn the game as a whole, and then we just blew up out of nowhere, both me and Kamal. And, and I, as much as I love Kamal, he's a literal brother to me, known him through so much, we've gone through so much. That man is both my brother and also my rival, and I respect him so much yeah, because I, I yeah. want to be – at where he is, where he's won events, he. Yep. I, that's where I want to win. Uh, I want to win the YCS so bad. Trust bro. me. Like, yeah, we were both uh, there. I know, bro. <laughs> it's so irritating, bro. It's so irritating. Oh, gang, gang, baby, I love you. <laughs> that was my girl. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she was watching me. That's love. My girl <laughs> definitely tried to. She was like, "I got work. I want to catch you on stream before I go to work." I'll, I'll <laughs> see you link. Yeah, Akeem was nice, man. Akeem, my boy, bro. Much love to Akeem, bro. He, you know, he he he, he go through stuff, and he he love to help everybody out. Like he he like a big Winnie the Pooh. He's so soft <laughs> on the inside, bro. He he look like he look like a like a killer, but like bro, he's so soft on the inside, bro. Oh man, he's such a nice dude. Oh, uh, Butler about to clean it up. Battling yeah. Butler, bro. He do that. Right, Geki, bro. That card is nuts. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Like, and he's just summoning monsters out the deck. Like, so like that's that's <laughs> the thing that I like about all the prank kids is like they all summon a guy out the deck. Like, regardless if they burn for five hundred, gain five hundred. You know what I'm saying? Draw a card. Mm -hmm. uh, but like they all do, they all get you to another guy. But like. Once once the ball gets rolling with prank kids, it's probably one of the decks where I know like once it starts, it can't you can't really stop it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Unless you have like something that clears everything, like Nibiru. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And they have their own revive. They all their own uh, pot of avarice. The p the plan that's in the yep. graveyard. Yep. yep. It recycles good, every yeah. single monster, which is yep. absolutely absurd. And the fact that uh, it can also make Toad as a negate, and it, the deck's just kind of crazy. It's um, like the way Maurice like it's like solidifies his win here. It, he really needs to. Get that Shin Shin face up. Like, yeah. his opponent having double book is kind of crazy. It's, it wasn't something he could, ex you know. Yeah, and expect. he only plays two. He only plays yep. two Book of Moon and saw yep. both of them. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. like, he's also main in Cosmic you know, Cycle. I think Maurice played correctly, yeah. you know, by leaving the Shin Shin doing that. Because, like, that just wins it by itself. But, like, he opened both his books. <laughs> yeah. You can't, you can't say anything <laughs> you about can't, that. Yeah, like, you it. can't count on that. He literally only plays two Book of Moon. He opened two Book of Moon. No like. amount of skill can play around yeah. that. Like, Oh, and speaking of, my dog hits the board. Yes, totally awesome. Maurice really needs to bait the Toad, uh, but I don't think he can bait the Toad because he has the Raigeki. But, like, he needs a, to use a power card so, like, Toad stops that, and then he can summon Shin Shin back. That's, like, exactly. that's what I want. I want, like, if I'm him, I'm trying to get Shin Shin back on board. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's a win condition. Yeah. But, like, also, it's not um, – 
it's not as good of a win condition as of right now because the board's already solidified yep. and he can just special summon prank kids monsters from the deck and it doesn't even matter if they go to the graveyard that he can just link climb yep. because he's also playing cards like Axis Code Talker, Unicorn, which uh, a lot of people aren't playing. Yeah, he has the he has the room to do it. Um, so the, now that the game has accelerated to this point, the Shen Shen isn't going to be impactful as much. Oh, Gamma. Ooh, oh, that's good. He has to tote this. Yeah, he has he's to. Thinking, tote this. He's thinking about it. Uh, I mean, he, honestly, the prank it, the uh, Doodle Doo doesn't really impact the game state as much. And I would let it, I would let the Gamma resolve. So listen, if you let Gamma like, resolve, though, you're giving him a level six on board. So, like, you make oh, yeah, this normal oh, summon. Yeah, because you're making this normal summon more impactful at that point. Uh, let's see. What is. He set a monster. Oh, that's he's gamma. setting. Oh, he's setting gamma. Yeah. Okay. So just so you guys know, gamma can be special summoned by other card effects. Yeah, it can only be special summoned by yeah. a card effect. He can't yeah. normal summon a so. Yeah. And it's weird. It's like a special summon set. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Someone said make doodle and swing for game. It's still Maurice's turn, I think. I know it's. I know uh, it's, yeah, it's Vic's turn because yeah, he yeah. summoned. Yep, this should be game here. Yeah, and then I guess it's and pandemonium, and then use doodle do tag out. Um, oh, pandemonium. Let me see. Uh, I don't think. Let's actually, see. Let me see. Uh, pandemonium. What is Lampsies gonna make? Oh, for the rest of the turn, so you can you can summon other monsters and then add pandemonium and then uh, pandemonium in the battle phase. Let's see if Victor has any spice. I mean, if Maurice has any spice for Victor's deck besides like the hand traps he's already main decking. Does he have anything that can give him an edge? Um, I don't really see anything in the side deck that he can side in for prank kids. Um, actually, Lightning Storm and Feather Duster to like force the backer out. Actually, no, Twin, twin in twin, the standby. Yeah. yeah, Twin in the standby. So it yeah. adds Pandemonium. Yeah. But Twin's the best bet. Um, yeah, th other than that, uh, he just sides. Droplet, just so. I mean, but, uh, like, at that, like, if I'm trying to drop it at that point, like, I think my hand's pretty, like, good because I'm getting rid of names, like, actual names. Actually, you know what? Lancia may be because uh, Roxy's has to banish. That's also a maybe. I don't think that's justifiable, but. Uh, let me see. Uh, you can banish one, and if you do draw a card, then special summon. Yeah, so Lancia stops Roxy's effect. But that's the only one, though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, it, again, it's it's a what if. Like, Yeah. It's like, if that's the only normal summon in their hand, then it's pretty good at that point. His extra deck, he plays Muddy Mud Dragon. Huh. That's an interesting one. Does he play one. Super Poly? Uh, nope. Isn't Muddy Mud Dragon that, that fusion, right? Yeah, it's a synchro. It's a synchro that becomes any type or attribute, I believe. Uh, let me pull it up real quick. for. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's the synchro yeah. version of it the It can fusion. be used as a substitute yep. for any fusion material. Um, during your main phase, if you control the synchro summon card, you can fusion summon a monster um, from your extra deck using monsters to disc control. So what's the fusion monster in his extra deck? He's using Dark Dragoon. Dual Avat. Oh, no. Uh, Dark Dragoon. <gasps> yeah. Sir, yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, he's playing Dark Dragoon as well. So, Dragon Synchro plus... It specifically substitutes for Dark Magician, but he needs another Dragon uh, on I the field. I don't know what Dragons he will play. It would be on the field. So, yeah, I don't, that's I don't know what Dragons. That's kind of... Oh, no, let me see. So Yeah, sure. Let's Lancia see. also stops the dog from banishing for the cost of for the other prank kids, links, and fusions. So I could see, I could see, uh, you know, I could see Lancia not being that bad, but I just don't see it being the best. Good enough. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, because, like, you, you can't you It can't seems like he can play play through it. Yeah, you can't cut consistency for a card like Lancia. 100%. 100%. Yeah. And then in Victor's side deck, uh, against Virtual Royalties, obviously the, t the two Lancias are going to come in. Uh, Droplet's going to come in. Um... Maybe so I think the other dragon he could try to use. It's either it could be a, a drag, a synchro dragon. So is Vermilion Dragon make a synchro? Um, uh, it's a machine. Oh, I can use Coral. He can use Coral. Yeah, he can use Coral. Yeah, he cut any dragon monster. So yeah, Coral Dragon. Um, I think Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger. That's also another dragon. Yep. He could just stack on top of a 
Rank six. That's not bad. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, I would like to see yeah. how that works. It seems pretty, pretty spicy. All right, going back into the matchup. All right, game two. We should have Maurice going first again. You know, he's playing Virtual World. You obviously want to take first. Um, we get to see if he likes to keep uh, the Gammas in. I'd probably take the Gammas out for the Twins. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I I know I just I just gotta shave. I need a little. I I need a little. I need to grow a little more. <laughs> Yeah, I had a f I had a full face, but then I got everything shaved down. I think I see an Ash in Victor's hand plus uh prank kid. I see a trap, a spell. Uh, he has reboot. Re that's no way reboot. Stop. What other traps? Besides reboot, play? reboot skill drain order. In oh, my, it might be imperm. Oh, imperm, yeah. Imperm or reboot. Mm. I swear, I swear, it looked like reboot. I <laughs> swear it did. I swear I saw reboot and Ash in his hand. Right, so he's normal summoning what looks like Nyan. Yep. Oh, I thought he was about to attack. I'm like, bro, you went first. <laughs> oh, no, that's the new one. That's Tutu. Mm-hmm. Yep. If you control no virtual mo world monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. Is that Lily? That's Kieran. Kieran. Yeah, so now he gets to send the trap and the spell. Yep. Double big. foolish. Ching Long Chuchi. Chin Long is definitely going to add uh, Lulu if he doesn't already have it. Oh, yeah. It, it could also be Prankett's plan in his hand. That would be is that a Is that a secret? What rarity is it's that? It's a trap though? super. Uh, yeah, it didn't look like a super, really. Hmm. Look more like a secret. So, like, that's why it, it probably could be Imperm or Rare. Like, uh, uh, it's probably Imperm. I just want to see it. No, it's Rare Reboot. Yeah, it's Rare Reboot. Wow. And he asked, he asked, but yeah, yeah, see, I knew I saw Red Reboot Ash. Yeah, he called by the Ash. So Ching Long's going to resolve and he's going to get Lulu. Yeah, this game is looking very well in Maurice's favor. He's going to, oh, I know why he played. Does he, is he the guy who plays Xe Encore? Nope. Uh, he plays Droplet, so he's trying to Droplet Reboot. Okay, all right. <laughs> Oh, that's sort of smart, yeah. Because he can just blow up all the spells and traps on his turn. Yeah. And, like, what are you actually going to set in Virtual World? Another Chuchi? <laughs> like, yeah. I'm pretty sure you don't want both your Chuchis in grave. <laughs> How do you get Chuchi back from the grave without it being banished? Like, don't you have to, like, banish it and then knee and add it back to deck? That's the, that's the only way, yeah. Yeah, because I know um, GG only adds uh, monsters yeah. back from Grave, so. That call by the Grave was huge. Oh, that call by the Grave was super strong. All right, now he's going to dump the trap, add spell. That's kind of, So, like, if he goes droplet reboot, right? Because, like, he has the reboot. If he draw, does draw the droplet for turn. So, like, if Maurice is ending... Double VFD. What are you sending from your hand to stop with drop? Like, what are you sending from your hand with droplets? He's, he's gonna have four cards in hand, other than the droplet. Three cards if it's droplet reboot. He has to send two other cards theoretically. Um, One has to be a monster, so yeah. he can't respond with the VFD. Yeah. So this is gonna be an interesting game scene. Make uh, that should make croc, croc. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, you want to draw cards. Yep. And you only got two in hand. If he draws Lao Lao, that's. <laughs> what did he search off of Lulu? And uh, he searched. He sent the trap, so he added a spell. I think he added City. Um, I'm surprised he drew first before activating City. Yeah, same. Yeah, because you're supposed to, yeah, you said to get the you trap. Just, yeah, you just decked in one. God forbid you draw the trap. Yeah, you, you already said it's just bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a city in his hand. Yeah, you should have activated it before. 
So he's going to reborn Lulu, looks like. And that makes nine again. That's BFD. He just pitched the city. Because he has another Choo Choo in here. Yeah, he probably drew it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like... BFD Choo Choo. Oh, prior to the draw. Okay. He didn't GG this turn, right? No. No, he didn't GG. So Victor draws for turn. Are you going to stand my face? He drew yeah. droplets, it looks like. Oh, he did. Oh, <laughs> my God. That's Reboot not real. Reboot droplets, bro. I this that's is about to be real. insane. This is about to be insane, bro. Oh, my God. This is about dude. to be insane, <laughs> bro. Oh, my God. So, if he just sends Reboot and a monster off of droplets, he can't respond with. Oh, he has to have two dudes. Th I told you it was Reboot. I told you it was Reboot. Oh I knew it. Oh, my God. I knew that's it. That's not real, dude. Bro, I knew it, bro. I knew oh my it. God, that's dude. insane. He literally drew Droplet for a turn. I feel so bad for Maurice, bro, because like his opponent real. just drew the best cards he possibly could. Like he, he, he drew, he sided in red reboot, reboot. <laughs> in, in the hope that the opponent doesn't draw city and activate city. <laughs> bro, and he didn't, though. He, he had didn't. It. He searched the city uh, and lucky. discarded it. I mean, lucky. You said he should have used the city. You said it. <laughs> like, Yo, that's insane. That's literally crazy, dog. And that's why you use city, like that's why that's why city is so good. Yep. <laughs> that's crap. And he doesn't have another trap to set. Oh, <laughs> so that's so cracked. Oh my god. Red reboot was literally just trap stun. It's it literally, literally is. it was literally just trap stun. Reboot, dude. Vic is Vic. Vic's I I I I love Vic, but like his his play style is sort of like. It's like big brain, but like bigger than big brain. <laughs> like, like the it's thousand IQ, like thousand bro. IQ, bro. <laughs> the, he, he's the bottom meme. Young guy. He's the literal bottom meme. It's so crazy. This is wild, bro. And he literally just has the droplets for the VFD. Like this is. I'm the one with the white hair, but Victor is going ultra insane like, right now. Like this is hilarious. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my god. I know Victor is just having <laughs> so much fun right now, bro. Dude, he's going off. I wonder how well he's gonna like how long he's gonna draw this well. Dude, I, he he he's played obscene decks a lot of the time down here in the local scene, and he does really well. So his his play is is heads up, and he also has an obscene amount of luck too. But his his, his heads up play is is, is there. Someone so said I expect last him to card in Maurice's hand is a gamma. Ooh yeah, you hate to see it. Looks like this one is done. Yeah, if last card in hand is Gamble, See, this I would have just left left Shin Shin with like some protection against like negation. Well, I mean to uh, be fair, to I be fair, know. VFD does just kind of like it win you the game as well. Or uh, like if he doesn't draw reboot droplet, like it actually just wins you the game. Um, yeah. <laughs> I I actually wouldn't have been expecting reboot droplet. I would not have. Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> have been expecting reboot droplet. Um, Someone said Victor IQ is over 9,000. I'm telling you, he's going to Ultra Instinct. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well shave off my hair and give him the saying, white hair. It's kind of like, crazy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was insane. We literally said, like, he has to draw a droplet for turn. <laughs> <laughs> he draws a droplet. <laughs> draws a droplet for turn. I need, to, uh, I need to ask him if that was a sixth card. I, I, it oh, looks it, like it was. It, it was. Like it was. It, yeah, 100% was. I don't know if he shuffled <laughs> his hand, but, like, <laughs> I need to know, dog. That's disgusting. And I... I, I Someone said Vis Victor risk it for the biscuit and got it. <laughs> Put him on better have it. <laughs> Put better have it. That's me and Kamal's lingo, bro. Better have it. That is insane. Bro, how mad would Kamal be if he lost like that? that would be oh, he would be heated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, bro, that, we would that, not hear the end of it. We the would whole not day. The, I promise you the whole day, bro. The whole day, He'd be like, bro, it's just not real. Kamal knows how to handle tilt, but like that would I'm put him on tilt. <laughs> <laughs> that would put me on hyper mongo oh, tilt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like. I'd be, I'd, that's why I said I feel so bad for Marie's bro, because like, I'm reboot, tilted bro, watching reboot. though. I, we literally talked about reboot in the, in the side deck phase. I'm like, bro, yeah, like, you decided to reboot for the Chuchi, but yeah, like, bro, like <laughs> why? Like uh, it, it, it worked. It worked, bro. He's gonna start a trend, bro. He's gonna start a trend. Bro, Everybody's red gonna reboot start bio next. Reboot, red reboot bio next. Oh my god, bro. Red reboot against virtual world. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Best card is virtual world. <laughs> That's insane. That's literally. I'm about to start like, putting in back row move versus virtual world. Back row move and the droplets. Yep, might as well put cosmics and droplets. Facts. Might as well. 
That's crazy. Not even not even facts like facts. F A X. Where's the facts emoji? Like, Give me some facts crazy. emoji in the chat, bro. Please. He said the real top deck hero. <laughs> like, yeah, bro. That's it's kind of nutty. Oh, oh, he's saying that Victor might have messed up. Oh my. Oh no. Oh my. Could he not get to the Rageki? I, I don't think it matters which prank kid you open. You should always yeah, get to it. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Once you got to Meow Meow, I thought you get to Meow Meow and the dude, and it always gets you to the Rageki guy. Because uh, he had the fusion spell too, didn't he? Oh, no, no. I think what he's going to do, um, you tribute the dog and return the other two because the, 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 the bird searched the fusion spell, and then you use the link one to link into the... Other guy. Oh, oh. So he just had the other two guys. Yeah, that's why I said yeah. Well, oh, that's plan. Okay. He's gonna he's gonna recycle him. All right, he has it. Yeah, yeah. He ha he has to do it on on his turn. Yep. You make a Batman. I got three of them. <laughs> Oh, yes, Tobias, with the facts emoji. Let's <laughs> go. Facts. <laughs> facts. This is round four, too. Man, I feel woke now, bro. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> I feel up. Uh. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Like, if he actually drew those specific amount of cards, like if he drew the reboot, the droplet, how many cards would he have left the combo? Someone said he had to dump lamp seeds for the droplets. Sally and the only other guy was the dropsies he normal summoned. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Like, he, he did, he he drew all those cards, but, like, just having those cards didn't have enough. Like, I'm not a fan of droplets right now. Me and my team, uh, we were actually playing Dark World over droplets just because we like the amount of cards in our hand. We like yeah. to keep those cards in our hand. Um, it just sucks that you can't interact with people that go standby phase VFD exactly, that don't exactly, play around Gamma. Exactly. Uh. So, like, it's so like our list was helping us against the better players, if you know what I mean. It's like yeah. the more skilled players who knew what interactions and stuff to do. But like exactly. Against, like, you know, the people who were just playing, like, what they saw on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? It was a little harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I in deck building, you just have to consider you, you, you want to play cards that don't necessarily cater to better or worse players, but yep. sometimes you just have to make those decisions. Yeah, exactly. And Droplets and Dark World is one of those options. Yep. A lot of players are not shotgunning. Uh, VFD in fear of Gamma because yep. Gamma's in everybody's deck. So yep. uh, Dark Ruler is a lot better of a card in theory. So yes, sir. it makes sense. This might actually be the first. Two, well, no, this isn't the first two on stream today, is it? Yeah, this will be the first two on stream today. He still has Choochie set. Where's he going to Choochie now? Targets the green. But he can't be destroyed. But he can be targeted. Yeah, I think Maurice just misplayed. Oh, that was kind of getting outplayed. <laughs> that was kind of outplayed. That was kind of nice. I like that. Someone said he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is TTT seeing more play? Mm -hmm. uh, the cards, really, really good. Um, I see it like, playing a lot in the sideboard now. Yeah, I personally got rid of mine because I didn't want to, like, get destroyed when the Megatons came out. Because, like, Rise is mm -hmm. the last set that's going to be in the Megatons. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I didn't want to get destroyed by that. Yeah, but, like... But like I'm, I don't know if it's going to be in the Mega Tens, but, like, it was just one of those cards, like, that could have been in the Mega Tens, so I was just like, yeah, I don't want to hold yeah. on to this. Holding on to, holding on to Paper Yu-Gi-Oh, if you're not playing Remote Duel, is just not worth it. Like, yeah. unless you're playing in Remote Duels, keep But playing. I actually picked up a bunch of stuff, because I do plan on playing in Remote Duels. Like, yeah. I got a setup and everything at the crib. I haven't played in a Remote Duels yet, but, like, I really want to. They, To be honest, like, the PPG might be the first Remote Duel I play in, like, to be actually honest, because I really want to play in one. It seems super fun. And I always miss the sign-ups for the Konami ones because they're so hard to sign up for. I never know how to actually sign yeah, up for Yeah, exactly. It. Like, PPG is really easy. I just got to Google PPG remote duels and I'm just <laughs> <laughs> in PPG. Oh, my goodness. It's 
So is there any specific reason why Maurice hasn't used VFD on his turn? Um. Wow. I don't know. Like, in all actuality, like, it's like once he passes back to me and my VFD is live, like, I'm using it to shit off your guys when you, like, try to fusion on my turn. Yeah, because, like, if, if, if Pandemonium can only be used in the main phase, so, like, standby phase shotgunning it yep. would have been correct. Yep. Um, I don't know if I'm going to play in the extravaganza. Like, I, I, I sold a lot of my uh, IRL Yu-Gi-Oh stuff for because uh, I'm investing in Legacy Duel Lands. Um, but uh, if I do come back to play IRL, I'm going to wait until the next um, next YCS is announced. Um, but I'll, I'll just stick to playing, like, Dueling Book because it's free. Like, I don't have to pay for cards. Yep. Um, and, like, I, my setup is just not that optimal to actually resolve a remote duel. So, uh, probably not for me, but, like, I'll play in, the, like, the online events. Toad is so good. Yeah. I was just thinking, like, man, he about to steal a bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Next YCS is going to be in 2025 at this point. I think by the end hope of the year. Not. Yeah. I, I would hope What attribute did he call off VFD? Uh, I don't we think don't he called an attribute. I uh, think it died. <laughs> yeah, I think it just died, actually. Um, I would have called, I probably would have called Light. Yeah, Light. Or Water. Nothing, nothing if really I thought he was going to, yeah, if I thought he was going to go in Toad Water. Uh, he's going to Gamma. He always uses his Gamma when dude, when he summons a Toad. This happened last game, too, and he gets Toaded again. This isn't looking good for Reese. That was very good. He's trying not to touch <laughs> the other person's mm -hmm. car. That's respectable. This should be lights out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, like once Battle Butler, Butler resolves, like. Uh, that card is kind of crazy. Yeah, that card, that card's plus, plus, plus. Yeah, and you regeki, and you banish. You're regeking for banishing a monster from your game, right? Like, yes. Either place turn two. Like, that card's kind of crazy. I think Maurice just bought the scoop. Yeah, Pandemonium for another one. Or no, he's going to summon the rocket, and then the rocket can bring back the, um, the uh, battle butler again. He's gonna gamma. Does he play on my? Nope. I always think it's really cool when they play Omega for the Gamma. I had it in my deck for literally one match, and I'm just like, ah, I don't think it's going to yeah. come up. I'd rather have another useful yeah. card. <laughs> it was just like one of those win more cards. Exactly. Because what really, when are you resolving Gamma on your turn in Virtual World? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you'd have to literally desires. Like, that's one of your only... Yep. Yeah, this game just does not look winnable for Maurice. Maurice. He yeah. just doesn't have a virtual world play. He just he has no hand. Like I, well, I've been sitting here like racking my brain, looking at his list, thinking of one card, like you can top one deck. card cards he can top deck, and the only one is desires. Yeah, desires into like Lulu Lala. <laughs> like that's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually. And he has to have a spell in deck too, like. Or he could he could desires into foolish burial goods and send a Ching Long. Hey, but he has to have Lulu as the other card in here. Because Lulu could target Chuchi on field. Someone said he would be in such a good spot if he didn't Chuchi last turn. Yeah, he literally just didn't think about uh, the fact that uh, the guy couldn't be destroyed by card effects. He tried to Chuchi, and <laughs> I couldn't be popped. Yep. I'm like, wow. Nice. Like virtual world do stuff. 
Now he's gonna tribute and bring back Battle Butler and Doodle Doo. Yep. Theoretically. Oh, or not. Um, he could go into Access Code Talker uh, during his turn. Frax. Let's see. And then, like, what's great? Up, oh, yeah, another meow, and you start the whole the yep. whole road again. Straight like that. Yep. Oh, he's just gonna attack. Maurice can't play though. I honestly don't know why he haven't scooped yet. Like some like majority of the time I never really scoop until I'm dead, but like Exactly. I'm, you're dead here. Like the you're you're gonna draw for turn and more than likely pass. Let's say you draw let's say you draw a virtual name for turn, you're gonna reveal, send a Ching Long, Ching Long, add Lulu. And then discard that same card, like yep. Yeah. And plan just being able to recycle cards and draw a card too, so you get to have access to more hand traps. You just recycle the extra deck monsters, so you just. Oh my goodness. I don't see how he just doesn't make Rip Roaring. He's he is playing only one Rip Roaring, so. He hasn't went through it yet, though, has he? Unless he got shuffled back. Um, Yeah, he's just scooping. Or is he? Does he have a spelling grave? Uh, just nope. two cities in the call by the grave. Or Foolish Burial called by the grave city. So, no. Is Shen Shen? Yeah. Oh, Maurice Shen said Shen's he ain't giving up. I forgot he has Shen Shen. Yeah. That makes the Chuchi live. Ooh, we got the Meister for the Shin Shin. And that should be it. Yeah. Four minutes left on timer for these guys. Yeah, Maurice, who look like this one by the way, for you. I see you thinking, buddy. He passed, yeah. Or he's trying to fan grave. Yeah, Shin Shin got skull mine. I said, I don't know what that car could be. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the game. He scooped. Mm hmm. No, I'm going Ash. Yes, sir. Elbow touch. You love to see it. Elbow clap, man. That just was not very fortunate for Maurice there. Yeah. You know, getting droppled it, uh, <laughs> Red rebooted. Reboot. <laughs> like, that was very unfortunate. Jeez. Um, 